वॉट इज येंडर देन वी वुड टॉक अबाउट थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ वूल पश्मीना एंड शातूश फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड विकूना फ्रॉम साउथ अमेरिका वेरी वेरी सिमिलर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो लेट्स डिस्कस ऑल ऑफ दीज नाउ येंडर इज अ कश्मीरी नेम फॉर अ ट्रेडिशनल वुडन स्पिनर नाउ दिस ट्रेडिशनल वुडन स्पिनिंग व्हील विच इज कॉल्ड एज येंडर इज अ कॉमन व्हील टू प्रोसेस द थ्रेड्स now these threads are obtained from pashmina or which is called as kashmir kashmir or pashmina wool is one of the major wools and usually uh, the ladies who are working with this yender get merely 1 rupees per thread and that's why uh, many of them have quit this job also important to note is the traditional yenders or the traditional wooden spinning wheels would spin or would take nearly 2 uh, months to yarn a 2 uh, two, uh, two months to make thread for yarning a, a single pashmina shawl and then again couple of weeks to finally have the shawl ready uh, or the fabric ready now this they used to take a lot of time and therefore recently there has been a little mechanization that has been brought with it and this the modern version of these wooden spinning wheels now take around 40 days in contrast to 2 months so the time frame is reduced by nearly half which is really interesting the second important thing is the traditional ones women had to sit on floor now they can sit on chair and do it so the problem of back aches could be resolved but keeping all those aside let's understand the three types of common wools that we would discuss this is pashmina now pashmina is obtained from uh, the fleece of himalayan capra uh, capra hirkas goats or also they are called as changthani goats because they are found in the regions of changthang in ladakh they are also seen in the regions of um, uh, china uh, tibet and the most important thing is with one goat approximately 80 to 170 grams of fiber is obtained so this makes this pashmina or the kashmir wool a very important wool now uh, that's one of the important things the common area where these goats are found are so it's obtained from a goat where these goats are from found tibet ladakh nepal the common belt changthang is the most popular area they are also called as kashmiri shawls once they are prepared and therefore therefore these capra hirkas goats are also called as changthai goats uh, the next is chiru and from chiru we obtain the shahatush wool shahatush is considered as the most finest wool with the finest thread this chiru is an interesting deer species now the most important thing is this is an undomesticated wild animal since it's a wild animal uh, the only way to obtain is to kill this animal to obtain the Uh, wool now 90% of the population of chiru declined in the second half of the 20th century in 2016 it was uh, uh, it was assigned a status of critically endangered species later there were very many restoration and preservation programs as a result it moved from critically endangered to near threatened species however uh, poaching of uh, this chiru for shatush is illegal since 1979 under the sits agreement and the only way it is sold in the market is through the black market now if we compare the two wools on the left this is uh, the wool from chiru and this is a wool thread from uh, thread woven from kashmir or what we call as pashmina as you could see the chiru has very dark slender threads and it's more fine and refined in contrast to the pashmina ones now uh, wool of nearly 3 to 5 animals are required to wo uh, to weave just one scarf out of shatush and therefore there are many ways under which blending of shatush takes place the common ways are shuradhani where there is blending with 100% which is 100% shatush the next is bahadhani which is 75% shatush and 25% pashmina another one is athedhan 
which is 20, 50% Shatush and 50% Pashmina. So there are blended Dani products which are also in the market. The next important SP, uh, wool next to Shatush is Vikuna. Vikuna is a wool which is not commonly popularly seen in India. It's obtained from South America. But Shatush is considered as the finest wool. Vikuna is obtained from the species which is seen in South America and it is the second finest but at the same time it is the most expensive legal wool. Why most expensive legal wool? Because Shatush is considered as illegal. Its, it's, it's trading has been banned under the SITS agreement 1979. So Vikuna is the second most finest obtained from the hair of South African Vikuna which belongs to the family of Camelidae. Uh, now this Vikuna again uh, similar to others has a protein fiber. Now since it is a protein fiber Common protein fibers are wool and silk. Now any of the protein fiber works well with lukewarm water and mild detergent. If the detergent is high, it would lead to bleaching. If it is go going in the dryers or it gets heated, then the threads would join. And therefore, um, there is a tendency to get this, uh, this, uh, this product damaged. And the only way out is dry clean of this product. Uh, the average fiber length is 2 to 4 centimeters and this is obtained every other year. Usually 250 grams in every two years is obtained. There are only three companies from Peru which officially can go for Vicuna wood and those are Loropiana, Agnona and Incalpaca. TPX. So those are the only three companies that can officially uh, get this wool and get it into the market. Uh, as mentioned, this is the most expensive legal wool, the second fi finest wool after Shatush. And this class is important because recently the GI tagging had been in news for the, the Pashmina cinder and what is yinder and how does it work we already discussed. So this was a quick update on it. We'll be covering many such interesting lectures on GS. Stay tuned.